Hi guys, Mr. Awful Waffles here. It feels like it was only yesterday that I was sitting here on my bed about to unbox something from Call of Duty that I had no idea of the contents of. Is that something I'm like meant to be able to... Wait, is that a, is that a USB? I'm going to check that in a moment, okay? Holy moly. I don't know what's on there. And yet... Here I am again today, about to do the exact same thing with this. I've just received this parcel, completely out of the blue pretty much. It's got the Call of Duty branding on the front, so I know it's from them, but other than that, I have no idea what is inside this thing, and I figured it would probably be better to open it on camera rather than off camera, just in case it's something really cool, okay? So, these are the sort of box's dimensions to give you guys an idea. Looks like it could be a puzzle, <laughs> something like that. Like, it's that kind of size of box, maybe a board game. But, I mean, without further ado, let's get this bad boy open, shall we? Oh, okay, so there's a parcel inside the parcel, it looks like. There's a FedEx parcel there, and more parcel stuff on the front. I'm gonna avoid showing that just because of the fact that it's got someone's address on there. Let me make sure that the back is clear. Thankfully, I've got these scissors handy from when I was opening that box yesterday. In fact, I won't need them, I don't think. I can peel. I can peel and replace? No, I can't. Hold on. Come on! Five, six. Whew, there we go. That was more strenuous than I was expecting. Okay, so... Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. That's not how it was meant to go, but we're doing it that way. Oh, okay. What? There's another package in the package. Are you serious? Like, how many packages? We've gone from package to package to package. Bruh, is this just going to be a package of packages? Is that all that's going to be in here? Come on, come on. Easy does it. Easy does it. There we go. Okay, so, we have it open. So, let's find out what's inside. More packaging! Is this a meme? It's bent, which I don't think it's meant to be. We should be able to get inside now and see what is actually in here after all that. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, this is not what, I was not expecting this, I was not, I was not expecting this at all, bruh, hold on, oh my, hold on, wait, so, this, Klaus Fischer, Hold on, hold on, open up, come on, don't, don't, oh, there we go, okay. Bruh. Klaus Fischer, cleared by the OSS. Mate, how cool is this? Look at that. Aha. <laughs> That's the back. That's the front. That is super duper cool. You can just see my forehead in the background. Super duper cool. I guess I've got to open it up. I kind of don't want to because it's like, this feels like a relic right now. Obviously, this is for Call of Duty World War 2. Obviously, it has to be. But I'm going to try really carefully to open this bad boy without damaging it too much. It's going to be quite difficult. Okay, no, I, I can... Oh, no, I'm damaging it. I've just got to do it, I think. I've just got to, I've just got to, just got to get in there. I've just got to get in there. Here we go. Oh, man, this hurts. This hurts. Okay, no, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. There we go. A uh, little bit of damage. A little bit. That's all part of the process, though. There we go. We've got it open. Okay. Let's unfold that a little bit so we can actually see what's inside. There we go. And... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This feels so good. So, for those of you that can't really see this right now, it's kind of like tea stained paper this feels great oh my goodness oh my good this is a handwritten note this is legitimately handwritten and it's in german i think yeah i don't speak german oh wait no it's not all in german only some of it okay hold on i can read this 
I can I can totally read this. There's this thing as well. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Let's first read the letter, okay? March 20th, 1941. Mein Liebling Marie, I hope this letter finds you well. How is life in England? I hope that your studies at Cambridge are going well. Father always said that you were the natural scholar of our family, so I'm sure adapting to your new life has been seamless. I have so much to tell you. The last time we spoke, I was angry, furious. I now know that my anger was misdirected at you. I was frustrated that I had to leave my studies at Heidel- Hi Ho 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 ho! Hold on. Heidelberg? That's where Richterfen studied. Okay? My beating heart, be still! Holy guacamole! I'm gonna start that paragraph again. I have so much to tell you. The last time we spoke, I was angry, furious. I know- sorry, oh my goodness, if this is a letter from like- Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness, okay. I have so much to tell you. The last time we spoke, I was angry, furious. I now know that my anger was misdirected at you. I was frustrated that I had to leave my studies at Heidelberg to care for father. After my mentor, Professor Linden, retired, I thought there was no way I could ever play a role in Germany's scientific renaissance. But fate is a funny thing. If I had stayed at Heidelberg, I would have missed out on the greatest discovery of our time. Right underneath our noses. Marie, I wept when they found it. When workers came in from the mine, talking about what they had found, this artifact of legend, my life has meaning again. My life has purpose. I had to get this message to where it mattered. To the... Deutsches Reich. My contacts at the university put me in touch with Führer Heinz F. Richter. From there, it was only a matter of days before... Uh, oh dear, that's a word I'm not sure what it is. Anuiba rolled in with a full battalion of troops. I took Dr. Straub down to the chapel myself, showed him the hilt to what we had found. Barbarossa's sword. Who would have imagined, Marie, me giving one of the inner circle a personal tour? Destiny has placed me at the right place at the right time. In the coming days, I'm going to present him with my papers. Highlights from the research I had done with Professor Linden. Findings that will surely help us to understand the potential of what we have uncovered. I wish I could tell you more, and I hope to see you again when the smoke has cleared. Please... Forgive my heated words. I will always be your brother, Marie. Klaus. Holy moly. This is legitimately a letter from the field, Treyarch zombie style, for World War II zombies, and I am holding it in my hands. My mind is blown. Barbarossa's sword is an artifact that they have found in a mine. They're looking to prove the scientific, or rather to play a role in the scientific renaissance of Germany. Bruh. Holy guacamole. That's not all. Amongst the letter, amongst the papers, was this. What is it? Let's open it for the first time. Holy... Boom. There we go. That looks to me like it's probably our first look at a World War II zombies map. Like, legit. That's basically a an image of the map itself, I'm assuming. Holy smokes. I'm going to have to do so much breaking down of this, like, in another video, but... Holy guacamole. I'm trying to frame it so you can see it really well with the light as well, like, just so it doesn't sort of reflect off too much stuff, but that's that image there. Looking pretty damn interesting. Honestly, it's small as hell, so 
it doesn't look like there's anything on the other sides of this as well. It's somewhat difficult to actually tell, like, what is going on there. But it looks like there's some kind of steeple and a street light and a building and a fence. Uh, well, a gate, rather. Man. And then the letter itself, just to give you guys another look at that. That was the front of it. That's what the front of it looks like. And so that says, uh, Klaus Fischer. That's the return. Klaus Fischer. Mitar by... Mitar Byte Forscher N14742 and it's directed to Fraulein Marie Fisher Woodington Place N404 Candy Ceylon Wowee and that's for the felt post so that's the, 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 the letter itself the envelope rather this is the letter itself once again just to kind of show you guys they actually made it they hand wrote it. Like, this feels, this paper feels like parchment paper. Like, it was in a freaking binder envelope thing. Bro, this is so cool. Ah, oh, I love it so much. Deary me. That's so awesome. Just going back to that one paragraph, fate is a funny thing. If I'd stayed at Heidelberg, I would have missed out on the greatest discovery of our time, right underneath our noses. Marie, I wept when they found it. When workers came in from the mine, talking about what they had found. This artifact of legend. My life has meaning again. My life has purpose. With the World War II zombies site, or rather the World War II viral site that featured a bit of zombies info, we basically got two bits of information. One, Operation Barbarossa was potentially relevant because Barbarossa was written on there. And two, a painting of Raphael was potentially relevant because there was a, a painting of Raphael on there. Little did we know that they would be doing something like this and this would be what they were referring to. I mean, I'm super excited about this. Obviously, it's early days, but just the fact that they're even bothering to make things like this. Is there anything else in there? Doesn't appear so. So the fact that they've even bothered to actually stamp this thing and to get it all properly looking just lovely, to send it all over to me. I mean, the four packages, and I guess that would count as another package as well. It was maybe a little excessive, but this is just so cool, dude. And then that image. I wonder if there's like anything that I can do to like, see through it, or if there's anything hidden in there. That's the back of it, which looks pretty plain to me. And that's the front once again. I mean, I just think that this is awesome, dude. I really, really do think that this is super damn cool. This is as close as we have really come to GK Nova 6 being done in any similar capacity again since GK Nova 6. Literally... GK Nova 6 did it in such a unique way. The way that they interacted with the community in person with that physical intel drop. And I've been praying for something like that ever since then. And this is pretty damn close to it. It's not an entire briefcase uh, full of stuff like this. Uh, but it's a goddamn start. And combined with the viral site, I'm in such a happy place right now. And I am so freaking hyped for World War 2 Zombies. Like... It just feels like they are getting it right. From all of the talking they've been doing about it, to the teaser images that they've shown, to the copy they've put out, to these things. Infinite Warfare Zombies was just going in such a poor direction, I felt like, from the beginning. Because it felt like they were tonally off. They were tonally off the mark. But this feels so good! Man. I'm going to stop frothing at the mouth and just scour this thing and see if I can find any ciphers hidden in here. Because you never know. First letter of each sentence or something like that could end up being a cipher. I'm going to definitely have a look at it. So the hunt has begun to try and figure out if there's some kind of secret message hidden in here or something. This is the transcript of it that you can see on my screen. I've basically just taken all of the text and just written it out so that I've actually got it in digital form. And there are a couple of things that do interest me. The fact that towards the end, they say, 
Please forgive my heated words earlier, and my heated words is underlined. I feel like maybe because of the fact that earlier here, they say, the last time we spoke, I was angry, furious, I know now that my anger was misdirected at you, I was frustrated that I had to leave my studies at Heidelberg to care for father. Like, part of me feels like they're heated words. So, the underlined heated words there could be hinting that there's some kind of further message baked into this first part of the message where they're talking about themselves being heated or something. There's also the fact that alongside, please forgive, my heated words being underlined, that's also underlined on there, Wardington Place, number 404, in Candy, Ceylon, and then that underlined felt post probably means nothing, but specifically that, the fact that that underlining is a different colour to everything else, that one line of Candy, Ceylon, and also in the letter, they say, I hope this letter finds you well, how's life in England? But he's sending it to Ceylon, so... That seems like a weird bit of discontinuity. I'm not sure what the deal is. Also, Waddington Place doesn't sound like Ceylon. Waddington Place sounds like Cambridge. So, I'm not sure what the deal is, to be quite honest with you. I think that the fact that it's underlined, if there's anything hidden in there, it's got to be related to that. And that one as well, my heated words being underlined just there. I feel like there has to be some kind of relation, but right now... I'm not quite sure what exactly it is. Okay, so I have been looking at this thing to see if there's anything in there that would be some kind of code, something like that. And there are a couple of things that I want to point out, okay? Here, my heated words is underlined. Maybe there's some kind of code in there related to all of the sentences with exclamation marks because they're the heated words and if we're paying attention to the heated words, you never know. And then I was thinking, okay, maybe it's capital letters or something related to those. But the idea I've had just now is to try and check this thing for invisible ink. And one of the ways you can do that, and I'm assuming it's going to be on this side of the image, you can see my, my dirty stove here, one of the ways you can do that is to warm up the letter. So that's what I'm going to try and see what happens. Let's see. Any invisible ink coming out on this image. I really, really hope that this is not just a really dumb idea and I'm going to stand here warming up the letter and nothing's going to happen. Let's see. Nothing so far. It's pretty toasty. Hmm. Okay, so at this point, oh boy, that's burning. I'm putting the camera down just to give myself a little bit more room to room to work with, but it's kind of hard to see if there's anything actually coming up. Like, I'm trying to kind of get something on there, but as far as I can tell so far, pretty much no luck. Let's just keep keep trying it, I guess. I think with Invisible Ink, it does need to get fairly hot, so I'm just going to keep on going. I do keep seeing these, like, puffies of smoke. Puffies? That's not a word. Puffs of smoke. And I'm hoping that that's not going to end up setting off my fire alarm or something. That would be really rather unfortunate. But just got to keep heating this bad boy and hoping that somewhere on here we get some kind of... Holy! <laughs> oh! Wow! Wow! Wow, oh, wow, okay. Um, that is... That is a message. Holy smokes! Dude. 12091. What does it mean? I'm gonna keep heating just to make sure that... Make sure that there's no other images on there. Or no other text hidden in the image. Sorry, what am I saying? No other text hidden in the letter. Or anything like that. So it's going to go around the whole thing. Oh, that's hot. Heating it up. Just to make sure. It looks like that might be the only bit, though. It's pretty clear at the bottom there. Let's see. Let's try the other side. So, 
I mean, wow. <laughs> Message located. I can't believe that that actually ended up being a thing. Invisible freaking ink. Call of Duty, just thank you. Thank you. This is looking so good right now. What I was saying about Sledgehammer seemingly just getting it. I mean, my expectations are just going up and up and up and up right now. And, I mean, the reveal is on the 20th of July. I'm so excited! Ah, it's gonna be so good! So, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up here just to get it posted as soon as possible, guys. I've been Mr. Off Waffles. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. And you've basically had some fun on this absolute roller coaster of a ride with this crazy secret message. I didn't find any other messages yet, but I'm gonna keep looking because. There might be another code hidden in there, like baked in, that I have to use the numbers 1209 and 14. Like, maybe I have to use that for certain starts of sentences or something. I'm gonna keep working on it. I wanna get the video up now, though. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Mr. Off Waffles, and I'll catch you guys next time. Holy guacamole, this is cool. Bye bye.